we'll be making a special uh, tea recipe. Uh, it's a kind of cold tea, but uh, sorry, um, it's a bit of a complex recipe, so you're gonna pay attention here. So I'm gonna uh, have to use a blender. Wait a minute. Um, I think. Uh, it's gonna be okay. There it is. Um, all right. Okay, the blender. Um, there used to be the little cover. I I'm not sure where I put it. Um. Might be on here. Um, wait a sec. I don't know if I can find it. I don't know where it is. Uh, if I can't find it, we're not going to be able to make the tea because we need the. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Alright. So, oh. Now we have the blender. So what we're going to make is a kind of tea first. Uh, we're going to need uh, either water or uh, sambuca. Uh, okay. Sambuca. Of course, a little bit of uh, a green tea, okay? Some green tea, uh, some pepper, and um, now there are some random stuff we can put in there, but uh, it's not really necessary. The main ingredient is a little bit of pee from Al Gore, but seeing as though he doesn't pee, it's uh, a bit impossible to find it. But you know, if you make this recipe and uh, it turns out it's not very good you can use that as an excuse well you know I, I couldn't get some pee from Al Gore uh, you can't get it naturally if you really want to get it uh, you might try to extract it manually but that's not a very good idea anyway so we're gonna put a tarallo it's kind of like some kind of a cookie and uh, so we passed the first step we're gonna blend this and then we're gonna add more ingredients wait a minute it's not connected. Um, okay. Ah, all right. There you go. So now you have some sambuca tea with uh, tarallo. Um, we can use some fruits to make it uh, healthier which of course we, we can use an apple I think maybe this apple is too big I'm, I might try to cut it in half um, okay alright we're gonna use half an apple and uh... alright maybe a little more sambuca uh... sambuca is too expensive I'm gonna use something else instead I'm gonna put oh, apple juice Now, the objective of this kind of tea, it's not the kind of tea you're going to sip like uh, in the morning while reading some kind of a sutta or anything. It's, it's going to be something that uh, you can drink before an athletic competition or something like that. Because it's really, uh, it gives you endurance. Uh, one of the ingredients says that it gives you high endurance. So, uh, it's important that, uh, you know, when you go in a, an athletic competition, you know, like in the Olympics or stuff like that, that uh, you're able to continue and you know not get tired. So uh, all right. You know when you are very tired, you know, and and you're doing athletic athletic stuff, like you're running or doing things like that, uh, you're gonna smell bad, and that's normal because of uh, you know the sweat, you know. And uh, if you don't have enough endurance, you're going to be like, um, you're going to sweat all over and, uh, 
you know, it, 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 people are going to tell you that you smell bad. And that's the reason why you have to drink something like this, because it gives you more endurance. Alright, a little bit of coffee. Coffee keeps you awake. Um, I find that coffee is the perfect thing to drink with alcohol because when you drink alcohol you're like yeah, 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 I don't know what's going on and when you drink coffee it gives you focus so like coffee counterbalances the negative effects of alcohol so if you drink alcohol and coffee you get only the good from alcohol and all the bad from alcohol gets washed away by the coffee <laughs> If we're ready for the high entrance, first we're going to use some crackers. Um, you know, people like to eat crackers once in a while, but if you drink this, you know, it's like all in one. You know, it's like, you know, shampoo and conditioner or something. You know, you, know, you get everything at the same time. Uh, okay. okay, some crackers. And, um... My sister gave the high endurance to me because she said that I smell bad, so I need the high endurance. Um, I tried drinking some before, but it didn't taste very good. So we're going to cut a little bit. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. Alright. Some high endurance. Um, I don't know if Old Spice is the best uh, brand, but... I don't know. It's the one my sister gave me. She says that if I take this, I'm going to smell better. Uh, it's because I don't have enough endurance, so if I run, I'm going to sweat all over, you know. So hide endurance, uh, it spikes the sweating. Uh, there might be something else that I had around here. Oops. No glue. I think I, I forgot something. There was another ingredient I forgot about, but I don't know. Whatever. Okay. So first of all, uh, since there are no such thing as uh, cold tea, we're going to have to uh, boil it a little bit. Uh, tea is always boiled, by the way. That's just the way it has to work. Um, I have some water in there, but wait a minute. Uh, you know, a couple of days ago, I, I broke a lot of glass here. Well, there was this. This used to hold the candle. Look, out. Oh, oh, fuck. Okay, this thing, it used to hold the candle. But the candle is like one of those modern candles. It's not made of wax. It's made of some kind of weird plastic, or I don't know what it is, but uh, it doesn't burn much. So I tried putting some sambuca in it, you know. And uh, so that the sambuca would burn and would make the candle burn faster. And um, the problem with that is that the sambuca began, you know, falling from the candle, and it made the oh, that smells so bad. It's gonna smell better at once we boil it. You know, when something smells bad, you should always, you know, use heat, you know, so that it kills the smell. Oh, oh man. Ah, uh, there's something. Ah. Uh, um. Okay. Boiling. Um. Okay. What was I talking about? Uh. Oh yeah, the broken glass. So the sambuca, you know, it made the whole thing like really hot, and so it broke. And when the thing was broken, it wasn't really broken. Just had a little crack in it. So I put it there. And then, uh, at some point when I was walking out of the bathroom, I kind of hit it and it fell. And there's a lot of glass here, you know, I keep stepping on it, but one day it's going to hurt or something, I don't know. Here, you see, a little bit of glass, it's all over the place, and I had to, I am always have to, you know, I, I wear shoes now because uh, I can always step on it. You know, I'll, I did the same thing with the relish, by the way, you see, it broke and it fell all over here, and I'm going to clean up someday, but... Anyway, you know, at some point, uh, I had a microwave, I had to, to throw it away, it was maybe like a few months ago, and I was trying to make some meat, and I, I bought, I, I bought a, a steak, and I put it there, and, and uh, I, you know, heated it and everything, and what happened was that when uh, the microwave uh, was done, um, 
you know, I forgot about it. So it, the meat, you know, it was still in there. And um, after a couple of days, uh, maybe after a couple of weeks, by the way, it, it was a long time. I wanted to put something in the microwave, and I completely forgot about uh, the meat. And so I opened the little door, and the meat was all like green or something. It, it was. It smelled so bad that I almost fainted. So I, I shut it down right away, and I, I couldn't, you know, take it and put it out because it was too hot. Uh, too. Uh, it smelled too bad. So I. I pushed the button and I began uh, heating it uh, to kill the smell, but the heat actually made the smell go all over the place. And I, I tried to run away, but it was impossible. It smelled so bad all over the house. Anyway, uh, now this thing is smelling too bad. I'm going to have to shut it down. Sorry. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to drink this. Forget it. Okay, good night.